Hello and welcome back to my Shabby Craft Corner and today I am delighted to share with you a collaboration design team project between Martha at, of Bird and Barnes Designs. She is one of the DTs for Ulala Vintage Treasures and she has kindly gifted um, me her spools and that is by her children's business Red Hill Fibre and Co. So it's um, a double collaboration. Um, Ulala Vintage Treasures Doreen has also sent me some boxes and some pretty little bits all to go together. Um, I'll be decorating Martha's um, spools with Doreen's digitals. So we have Bird and Barn Designs is her children um this business red hill fiber and co and i'll leave all the links in the description box below um and i'll show you my unboxing so thank you martha for this this is amazing and for doreen for giving me this opportunity to do this and what i will be doing is popping back and sharing with you what i create with them So we have this beautiful silk bag tie and I'm always fingers and thumbs <laughs> so let's untie this and just um... now I don't know if Martha made these or if it was Doreen um, let's have a look here so we have from Doreen she's just perfectionist at putting little lace bits together and doilies and just making them so beautiful so we have this little charm dangle here we're gonna put everything to one side in the little bits and then we're gonna have a look at the spools from Red Hill Fibre Okay, and the business is um, they have lots of fibers, and I think from what I was reading, um, they have alpacas and they make the wool from alpacas as well. So, um, there's I will you can go into the link for Red Hill Fiber and Co and take a look yourself but they do amazing yarns and um, they've started making the spools so these are six of the wood ones and you've got free plain and the free decorative lasered um, ones here really pretty Martha so they'll be decorated up and thank you very much for these. And then Doreen sent two boxes to be able to display the spools in. So I'll be decorating one of these up. So this one is the cigar box with a pretty trim shabby chic now I've never had a cigar box before so um, these are very new to me I can see the wood at the bottom and then Doreen's filled the box up with pretties so paper doily pretty details very pretty lace sample then let's have a look at it okay so we take it out like this see how beautifully wrapped this is gorgeous i just don't want to disturb it because when my mucky hands gets on something 
it gets destroyed <laughs> and i know the whole thing about it is to take it apart and reuse but um that is just beautiful and i just want to display it like that on a permanent basis doreen so <laughs> i'm gonna to have to go through it and try to um put it all back together again and some coffee pretty parchment which makes lots of pretty noises so let's have a look here okay so that was part of that one okay get down the bottom there i'll put that one back there and decide if i'm going to use that one or the other one so we have put you to one side and over there it's gorgeous story beautiful got this um pretty doily behind it it's not doily it's um it is a doily it's like um a vintage linen let's have a look here So just put it on the bulb pin. It's a pretty little butterfly. Gorgeous. Put that one there. And I know what digital collection I am going to use on the spools and the boxes. And it's going to be Doreen's Ballet Dreams. So I've got all that together ready. I'll bring it in in a minute to kind of show you the whole picture of where I'm going to. And I love this. I believe it's paper. Now, I don't know if it's handmade paper that Doreen does or whether it's from like a vintage book. But it feels like fabric. So there's this one. Let me just put a little pin on that one with... And this one here is so pretty. Just the way the pins are all placed. So pretty, Doreen. This beautiful bit of um, doily there. And then a the rose fabric. And again with the lace. The center page, pretty bit of fabric, and that around on the top. So that's gorgeous, pretty Doreen. Thank you. And then just the way that she's done it with the printed fabric there, a little sparkly flower. Ruffle trim and they just keep going <laughs> they will keep going she puts all together so beautifully so that's another bit that i really do not want to destroy and then this pre placemat that's the one that i was on about with my favorite Lace. So let's put that one there. And put this one back in. Like that. So then there's this pretty little wood box here that she's decorated so pretty. And I really do not want to destroy that either. Can I just keep it like it is? Maybe if I just slip this off, that might work. Let's have a look here. Okay, so we've got this pretty lace trim there. And then, I don't think this was going to slip off, or is it? Let's see. Okay. 
and then this beautiful eyelet trim with such a little pretty dangle there with the love part it's just the attention to detail that Doreen puts into these and then this gorgeous vintage lace so delicate and pretty and then a little bit more of the vintage lace underneath you can tell that the vintage because just the softness of them so gorgeous and then this little cute wooden box with more pretty goodies inside Doreen you've spoiled us how pretty is that the little diamante and pearls and the pin it's just so much detail in such a little bit of pouch adorable so there's one two three four five layers on that so cute Doreen and then you've got this beautiful brooch some tatting and another four layered little dangle there pretty cameo a bit of this lace pretty little bling embellishment sparkle and the applique and another layer tangle I want to keep looking at these Doreen and learn I absolutely love this Doreen uses this one all the time and it's just so pretty with the rhinestones in and then we have one, two, three, four, five ruffles and layers. So that's a ooh -la, la ruffle dangle the right there. Gorgeous. And then we've got this very textured flower. I'll give it a ruffle up very unique if you can see all the layers there and then we have a little bit of the, the page at the bottom how pretty is this so thank you very much Doreen and Martha and I'll be so looking forward to creating with this. I am going to bring the digitals just to quickly show you. So we've got the bows and I've got a whole host of prettiness here that I've got ready. These flowers was made by Michelle, one of the other DT ladies. So we've got some pearls, we've got the tiara, and this is the Ballet Dreams Digitals. So that's the digital collection I'll be working with to decorate and fin up. And I'll be back sharing my collaboration design team project with um, Doreen and Martha and Red Hill Fibre & Co. So thanks for watching and take care.